Hi, my name is Pop. I am making a video in Ubuntu Basics showing how to connect an Android telephone to a laptop using Ubuntu and transferring files back and forth from the laptop to the Android phone. And the files that you transfer back and forth can include still pictures, music, or videos. Well, you've got to turn on the laptop. Turn on the Android phone you've got to plug the phone into the laptop I'm going to do that now you may have been able to hear through the microphone the buzzing sound that the phone makes when I do this I'm going to bring up a picture of the phone using cheese I've got an external video camera on my phone and in one second you will be able to see this phone recognize the USB connection. It doesn't happen immediately. It takes a few seconds. There it is. Now this rectangle right here is hard to read so I've got the properties of cheese up in preferences and I may be able to get that legible. It's very bright and although this is an extremely high resolution camera it nevertheless is difficult to see. However, it says connect USB storage. I am now going to move my finger onto the touch screen and touch that. And it's going to ask me, is that okay? Well, let me show you what happens. You go to your home folder in places I don't have Unity, I've got the old style menu. And the phone's not up there yet. But when I hit OK, in one second it's going to pop up on the left. And there it popped up and it says, do you want to open up some program here? G part editor, no. VLC, no. I just want to go to it. I have now opened up the phone and these are all the folders and files that are on the phone. And you can just drag and drop between the phone and your laptop anywhere on your laptop. Uh, I'm going to just close cheese right here and let's go back to this impress uh, screen you open up the home screen on your laptop the phone will appear and now you can transfer the files back and forth from the laptop and the phone just as though the phone were a USB drive now your phone has also got an internal memory slot. It's got a micro SD inside of it. Or maybe not. Mine does. I've got, I think, 8 gigabytes. And I've got some things on my phone that are on the internal memory and some things which are in the external you've got to go find where all your stuff is and drop, drag and drop back and forth. It really is not all that important. The phone will find where your folders and files are. Uh, DCIM, I'll open that. And that's where the camera stuff is. This is where the camera's internal videos and still pictures are normally located. I'm going to tap on this. I'm, I'm on the phone now and VLC will probably open up and that is directly from the phone. I am I want to uh, emphasize that this is the phone's storage playing on my laptop. I have not transferred the file. If I wanted to transfer the file, I would just left click 
and bring it over to the laptop screen that copies it. It's still here on the phone. Let me diminish. And there it is. Now it's on my laptop. Now this is a short video. Uh, an extremely short video of 1 minute 59 seconds. Uh, if it's an hour movie, it's going to take longer, of course. The throughput is USB 2. You can go back and forth, forth and back. It's pretty easy. If you look at your, if you look at your uh, phone while you are doing this, down here there is a little box that says stop. Again, I cannot get that to to show no matter how I change the brightness or contrast I can't get it to show on screen but when you reach over and touch it we've got a USB connection but it's no longer active you can now unplug the wire and when you do that stops now when I plug this thing in it took about a few seconds to recognize there's another thing you can do there's a pull down on your phone and I'm gonna pull this down and now I'm going to plug in the wire again you may be able to hear that it it makes a buzzing sound uh, it's a ringing phone sound and it's going to recognize the USB connection in this pull down and there it is oops I lost it well things don't always go smoothly with Android or Ubuntu there it is I got it connect connect OK and it recognizes the file and the folder and you have to go over to places open up your home folder and there it is the name of this says color render I have noticed that it has other names occasionally and I do not know why the name is different that is all I got my name is Pop I hope you enjoyed this and that it was helpful. I have a whole bunch of YouTube videos called Ubuntu Basics and Spreadsheet Basics and I thank you very very much.